Alright, what is going on everyone? My name is Territoid and welcome back to GT5. So in the last episode we killed Al Di Napoli as Trevor and then uh, Franklin went to save Michael from the Chinese and now we're here. Michael is back. So we got a call from Lester to go visit the garment factory uh, because some some of, the, some of his uh, FBI buddies are there. So why don't we go check it out? Alright, let's go up these stairs. What's going on? Okay. Just enjoying a little labor dispute. See, we're about to do something really, really bad. So I need to present myself. Cleaning with out the bureau. Textile magnet, so. Nice mission Please stop name. making anything. Nothing looks more suspicious in America than someone who's actually prepared to make something. <laughs> oh my God. What about you? Oh, pocket, Trevor. We're having some problems. I got kidnapped. And yep. What else? <laughs> anyway, the Union Depository is on hold for now. Can't do it without him, especially now that he knows. Thank God you guys are here. You alone? Oh, hello. Where's your boyfriend, Steve? <laughs> He's on his way up. Yeah, they're up here. Listen, the shit's about to hit the fan. Our entire lives together has been nothing but a series of fans and shits. Sort this problem out for me, and I will get Mr. Leisure Wear off your back. And if we don't? Then I will go to jail and you will get shot. Ah, fuck you, Dave. I've heard it all before. Oh, jeez. Like this, you haven't. No assassinations, please. Oh, well, yes, he has. He told us that if we do what you say, then together we can take down the big bad wolf that is government corruption. Yeah, and if you don't, we're all gonna fry. Because the agency's on us. I've even got some fools in our own well, bureau who cares? that are questioning my methods. <laughs> Think I'm a liar, <laughs> a cheater, some kind of a killer and a thief. So? So, there's some, uh, Evidence, and I need you guys to find out what they know. All right, so what? You want Lester here to hack into the system, wipe it all clean? Oh no, no, that will not work. The only way to access it is through your buildings. Fuck me, <laughs> <laughs> Michael. You'd be doing me a very big favor. Steve, if I you hate do you. This, I will make sure that all your files are deleted. I promise you. Steve, hey. Steve, I hate you. It's the last thing we do, and we're done. Period. Of course. I'm a man of my word. Dave, let's go. All right, so now what are we Come doing? Lester, let's go. Good luck, gentlemen. Get out of here before I trash your ride. All right, get in your car. Let's go. Take us to the bureau parking garage. Oh, God. Garage entrance. To the bureau parking garage entrance. Go to the FIB building. So, you got any idea how we'll do this? Scope it out? Uh, not really, but I thought we'd start by finding a way into the building. We're going in through the parking lot? No, no, no. We're waiting for someone to come out of it. The janitor. All right. We're going to wait and for a janitor. Get us in? Well, the janitors That's are nice. all on temp contracts. They get replaced when their backs go or they ask for a day off. So, we find one of these guys, we turn him, and that's our end. And then we okay. steal his mop. They're a particular guy? <laughs> I'm in the temp company's database right now. We found a guy about to clock off. I got the file here. Let me see. Harvey Molina, license plate. He should be coming out here soon. Harvey Molina, wait for the janitor's car. Oh man, look at look at all of the these uh things in the car. Well, what's this? So it's hard to toggle focus on the license plate. That's not it. Oh. So what do you think about this whole Didn't messed think up so. situation? Didn't I think, think so. they'll either kill you after this is done, or keep you doing these stupid jobs until they don't have to kill you because someone else has done it for them. Yeah, that sounds about right. Thanks for the advice, Lester. <laughs> all right, all right. So now. We're waiting for that janitor, dude. Something's coming. This is not the car we're looking for. Oh, okay. So what do we do? Oh, what can we do? We do the job. And maybe you can delete the files when you're inside doing whatever else you're doing. That might be a way out. Yeah, well, a way out is exactly what I need. Let's just find the stupid janitor. Come on. That's it? Uh, not our guy. Damn it, Lester. To get motivated on a job <laughs> without financial incentive. You can't put a price on freedom. Well, that spur won't nice be car. there for the crew. Now, I'm gonna ask Mr. Haynes for a budget. Maybe the leftover cash from the Polito score. We need something. Yeah, see what you can do. Please tell me this is it. Here we go. 
Nope. Oh. God damn it, Lester. You suck. There we go. There she is. Follow the trail. A couple of car lengths. Follow the janitor. Oh, we're gonna steal his mop now. That's nice. What's gonna happen when this guy gets wherever he's going? Baro. He's gonna get his severance package. Huh, I can't tell if that's some creepy euphemism or a plain statement of facts. It's whatever you want it to be. <laughs> okay. Alright. He's over there. And I hope he doesn't notice anything suspicious. Because of his, uh... Because of his, like, mirror. Hey, you mind? Put away the smartphone or pad or whatever the hell that is for a minute. No surfing while I'm trying to tail this guy. <laughs> it's work related. Yeah, well, I'd prefer all hands on deck right now, if it's okay with you. God, you're worse than my son. <laughs> you want to break into the FIB's West Coast headquarters, you're going to need more than a janitor's license plate number. And let me work on some angles while you uh, keep this car behind that one and between these white lines. That's it. I mean, other than a few missing expletives in terms of racial abuse, that was my son in spades. Lester, <coughs> Lester's just probably making excuses in playing Call of Duty or something, you know. I just spoke with Agent Haynes. We've got the budget to pull this off. Okay. Still following the, the, the Come on. janitor. What do we do when he gets home? What do we need from him? We need cooperation. And maybe his overalls and an ID. And, and if mop. you don't cooperate, you know what it's like to his clean up magical shit for Steve Haynes. He'll cooperate. And his magical mop, please. He's gone left there. You see? Yes, I see that. Thank you, Lester. <sighs> Thanks, Einstein. I didn't know. <laughs> okay. He's turning left up ahead. God, I see that. Chill. Calm down. He's pulling up. Park down the block. All right. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. I'm not here. Could you call in a refill on the blood pressure medication just in case? Come on, let's follow him. Okay. There he is. He's going to his door, that one. Yep. Follow the janitor into his apartment. Alright. Alright. I think. You got another one of those, Harvey? Hello, friends. <laughs> Who are his you? face. The guy with your best interests at heart. Fill your pockets with money, and all you gotta do is take a little vacation. Hey, I work two jobs, man. Take any break I can get. Good. Hey, you want the beer? Nah, I'll just take the overalls. Oh, and your ID. It's in there. Oh, and Harvey. I probably don't need to say this, but you don't play ball, I'll be forced to do something I really don't want to do. Enjoy your beer. Get back in your car. <laughs> Man, I just stole this guy's clothes. It's very nice, very nice. Okay. Alright, Lester, did you drive off without me? No. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's probably listening to, to hip hop office. or some shit. Go to the garment factory. No. No, I want to take the bus. You know. That was you know. easy. Guess you were right. Steve Haynes is a shitty boss. Hey, I called Frank while you were in there. He's coming to meet us. Yeah, huh? What do we need him for? Grunt work. Information gathering. What information? The plans to the office. There aren't any digital copies, or if there are, I'm not clever. What a shitty boss, Steve Haynes is. LS base, so I thought Frank could tail him, take I a hard never copy. liked the guy. Sounds complicated. You sure you need these plans? Yeah, I do. If I'm gonna okay. find a way to bypass a couple of hundred We're here million at the factory. dollars worth of government security. Oh, there's Frank. Millions. They blew that much. Ah, he's already here. 
Go to the office. What the fuck is this music? Oh my god. Freaking copyright strikes. All around. Hey, what's uh, the problem, dog? I yell Frank, man. Haynes. Of course it's Steve fucking Hain. It's always Steve Hain. That is not strictly true. It's either Steve Haynes or it's Trevor or it's his family. It's always one of them. Yeah, that's true. It is always one of them. Well, battle fuck with a horrible family and even worse friends. I told you, Franklin, I ain't a good role model. Yeah, whatever, dawg. It's either this or dealing dime bags. The bullets come cracking at your ass either way. Yeah, thanks. We need to find out something about this FIB building, a weakness or a way in. Next time I meet a morally destitute, totally delusional, highly corrupt government agent. I hope he's a nice one. Man, I'm not going in that motherfucker by myself. No, 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 no. Nobody is going in. We need to do some recon. We need a little more information. She. I need the architectural plans, but they're not online anywhere. I'm gonna need paper copies. Okay. Uh, the architect's name is Chip Peterson. This was his first big commission, and the office is down in Backlot City. All right. Franklin, you go tell him for a little while, and then we'll talk. All right, dog, I got you. Try not to hurt yourself. Oh, good, good, good. Now what? Oh, goodness. Mission pass, clean out the bureau, huh? Eagle eye, he missed the spot, clean go. What do you expect me to follow him faster? Huh? No, it's not how it works. It's not how it fucking works. Alright. Alright, why don't we go to Michael's mission? Um, it's at his house, presume, I presume. I mean, as usual, where else would it be? I mean, it says M right on it. Alright. <clears throat> So, this is probably the longest uh, game I've played on my channel. Which part are we on now? 45? 46? 45, I believe, yeah. Jesus Christ. I mean, I enjoy playing these kinds of games, but, you know, it's, uh, it's pretty... It's pretty interesting. It's pretty interesting. My next uh, game will be GT4. I'll be playing that because and if you want me to play some of the older ones uh, like uh, the ones on um, uh, PlayStation just post a comment about it that was some smooth parking Michael very nice Hello. Reuniting the family. Ooh, are they back? Ah, of course. Of course. <laughs> Attaboy, Michael. <clears throat> Drink your life away. Oh my goodness, it's a 50s movie. Up, oh, sleepy. Hey. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hey. I'm sorry I spiked you, okay? I just, I get so mad and I can't control things. And then, you know, shit just falls on top of me. My life sucks right now. And I don't know what to do except I want to say I love you and hug it out. But all that wimpy shit is just, well, I'd say gay, but I have some friends who are gay. So that's not cool anymore. And the ones that I don't really like, it's not because they're gay. So... What? Lame, all right? You are just a lame and angry psycho sometimes. You do bad shit and things. I don't know the if I love you. That? I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit. But I'm just so fucking upset that we can't even see each other. And you're just a drunk, lame dad. You know what? That might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. At least they made it crystal clear. <laughs> so will you buy me a car? Oh what? my god. I mean... Not in this, so will you buy me a car kind of way, in a completely off topic, can you buy me a car? I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. And, and secondly, I will get a job and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. Now, 
Go. Get a job, because I don't have the money to buy you a car. Besides which way, I'm probably going to be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? Yeah, it's great catching up with you two, Dad. Yeah. Hey, uh, how's your mother? Oh, she's great. <sighs> no, she's not. She's bored. I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better built, caring and compassionate man is so great she's and all. Again. What's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? I I'm just winding you up, you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, all right, all right. I can take a fucking hit. Let's go. We'll get Tracy on the way. Tracy, on the other hand, she's a star. Sort of. Let's fucking go. All right. <laughs> Mom said she was at Bean Machine. Bean Machine. Wonder what that is. Come on. Weight loss program. <laughs> All right, get in. What's been happening? You know, I don't know, st stuff? No, I don't know. Well, what's been happening with you? Uh, thanks. It's been... it's... Oh, okay. Here they are. <clears throat> Come on. Your curling has been sluggish for weeks. A, what? a little bit less lifestyle guru and a little bit more... Uh, excuse me, I'm trying to write a screen... Shush, here. woman! Oh my god. Hey, Amanda. Fabian. Michael. Hi, Mom. Hi, Jimmy. This is too a picture of holistic well-being, I don't think. Hey. Maybe they shit once a year between them. Hey, oh! That's my son! Amanda, come. I have a new unit out on hold. You must pay for it. Hey! Hey! Buddy, I'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect. Red meat has been blocking your chi as well as your digestive tract. What? <laughs> I ain't even gonna what go the there. fuck is this guy talking I'm gonna about? Ask you one time. Nicely. Michael, just hit him, please. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. And his name oh, is Charles! I have to kill him for fucking shit! Wow. There's a lot more of that <laughs> Was he alive? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda. I wanted... I'm meaning to say to you, look, I just... What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he's a pathetic, old, drunken mess, and he needs you. And you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation. Someone say <laughs> Oh my god. I guess we could try. All I'm asking for is a shot. Neutral ground. Dr. Friedlander's office. It's perfect. All of us. I'll pick up Tracy and bring her there. Meet you? Fine. This right, is hilarious. You. Come on, get up, you idiot. Oh. Yoga? No, no yoga. Yoga? <laughs> no yoga. Right. You know where your sister is, right? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, 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 but what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? Another time. Oh. Come on, I want one too. Wait. Pig fat flavored beverage? She's meant to be at the tattoo party. Is this that really is happening? Cool. Get the hell in. Jim. Jimbo. What? Tracy's getting another tattoo. No, oh god no. That Laszlo guy's there. Laszlo, that asshole. Oh jeez. What's he want? That it's guy. Tracy that wants something. She wants to get back on fame or shame after you and Uncle T cut her cameo short. Well, maybe we ought to help her out with Interesting. That. Maybe we ought to. Interesting. Hey, let me ask you. Back there with your mom. That went okay, didn't it? Anything that ends with Fabian's burst eardrum is more than okay with me. I think they're in here. Alright, let's go, let's go. Yeah, let's go get Tracy and then we're gonna go I'm looking for something hip to marriage counseling. Capable of violence, but I'm awesome oh my sack. god. So listen, babe. If you wanna make it in Vinewood, you gotta do whatever it takes. Even if whatever it takes is a depressed borderline alcoholic who hosts the third most popular talent show. Amongst the 40-year-old female demographic? So, 
You'll let me on the show if I blow you? Yes, and if you could wear some black lipstick, the little guy loves the goth vibe. Oh. Oh. oh Laszlo. You done uh, fucked dude, up now, son. Jim, find the ink slinger. Sit on him. Oh, jeez. Laszlo here's gonna have a little cosmetic work done. No. Please. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stay put, you lame-ass Mark. Uh, sure, kid. What? Oh, uh, uh, I'm by Pierce Laszlo's brow? <laughs> At least you look good now. Beautiful. Ow. Oh, 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 that looks pretty. Here, let's get rid of this. Bruh. Oh, my God. Papa Bear. What's Daddy number two gonna think about this? Let's not get him involved. Let's do. I mean, that, that's a, that's Tattoo Laszlo's right. chest. Let's tattoo his chest. Uh, You're gonna be a new superhero friend. Oh my good god. Just so you know, oh I'm my. Beach wear photo shoot next week. I don't care. How about I throw those three little pubic hairs on here too? Oh my there god. Go. Beautiful. Nice. It's penis man. Like a yes. Mirror, yeah, I'll get you a mirror, smash you over the head with it. Oh nice. my god. <laughs> snip, snip. <laughs> this is a real one stop shop. What are you doing? <laughs> Whoa. My signature, my ponytail. Now I gotta get extensions. No, what you gotta get is my daughter, whatever she wants. Yeah, without sucking on your piddle stick. Oh my good okay, god. Guys, that was a joke. I'm a clown. I'm a sad, lonely little clown. Hey, you're gonna put her on your show and you're gonna make sure she looks good. I'm gonna burn down okay, your I circus. This town, but I mean, I'm not a miracle. Just do it. Oh my good god. Yeah. All right. All right, Trace, let's go. We gotta get to the therapist. What? So. I'll like call you or something, okay? Bye. Never a family that needs therapy. My pony. How do oh. I look? Very nice. Not good, is it? it looks very nice. Who knew you could use a tattoo gun? It's one of those skills you pick up in prison. You know, inking your name on your Sully's ass. <laughs> Ew. Are you serious? Come on. No. Not quite. Thinking your name on your Sally's ass. That's that's a nice hobby. That's a very nice hobby. Close, but your therapist hasn't exactly been transformational to your mental health. So I don't know why he'd be better positioned to help for dysfunctionals. Hey, this was your mother's idea. Well, I guess it beats yoga. Pop, now he beats yoga. Literally. Like Fabian around the head with the laptop? Oh yeah, like pow! Our old man released the dude's inner tranquility all over. Uh, so, sorry, you excuse me. <laughs> you might have grown in sorry. Our, <laughs> our old man released the dude's okay. inner tranquility Up. all over the bean machine. Careful to with the driving, Michael. Man. Bad, but yeah, I fucking hate that dude. Yeah, I know, right? Show up his own ass. You're a oh, well, you Fabian. He's an You're asshole. A fucking contortionist. Whoopee! I can tort my junk all day long and I don't act all superior about it. I'm just a little ashamed and Indian. Overshare. Hey, guy was talking smack to your mother. Well, I applaud you, Pop. Here, here. You're like finally like using your powers of selfishness and rage for like good. Not an objective universal good, but like a subjective what's in our best interest kind of good. Fuck yeah! Yeah. Awesome. Let's Woo! Somebody. <laughs> Not die. Oh god, I pulled out my phone accidentally. Enough! Okay? I love that we're getting along, but knock it off. Alright. Michael, kids, let's go inside. Okay. Don't pay attention to the car's uh condition, uh Amanda. <laughs> Nothing happens. Amanda. Hello. Good to see you again. Michael. I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. Michael, be positive. I am being positive. He's this always is positive. positive. <laughs> Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm. It's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda. Trust me. Nothing's beneath me. No, normally there's a whore beneath you. <laughs> you know, for someone who Damn. spends every waking moment 
working on themselves inside and out? I gotta tell you, the progress has been really fucking slow. How would you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? Uh, gee, because all you do is whine at me. Oh! All I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? Michael, could you please stop endangering me and the both of your children? You kill people and then you sit in the sun and drink and feel guilty about it. That is not work. I don't marriage see counseling. You complaining on the way to the fucking bank. <laughs> Face it, Amanda. We're trailer trash, you and me. We were taught to do this. Get a center, Michael. You have no center. How about you suck my cock? <laughs> 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 no, wait. We'll both get a center. What the before that fuck? Ever happens. You Michael. are such a fucking animal, a deranged animal. You're fucking ain't right on deranged. How could I not be? I should have had you locked up years ago, you stupid Do shit. Do it. I'll put you in the fucking ground with the rest of them. Oh my and god, Michael. All the time we Michael. Oh. Damn. Great. I think we made some real progress there. We only came to this guy's oh, office to uh, argue. <laughs> I hope this goes without saying. What kind of episode family is work this? is a little more expensive. What? Double? Squared. <laughs> of course. Take care now. Hey. So you gonna come home with me or what? Guess we'll give it a try. All right then. Kids. Oh my good so, God. Will you drive us home? No. I'm leave you out here. We'll leave you out here. You know, there was a moment there. I thought, what? I don't know, like maybe we still had a ways to go. You know, like maybe we need more time. Time for what? Time to move beyond screaming at each other. That was cathartic. Catharsis all over my face. Ooh, I got a warm, fuzzy feeling. Probably just the meds you rated. Okay. <laughs> cathartic. Cathartic. Right. I just don't I see some bad drivers, but you <laughs> oh, don't want it to be more of the same. Now you're the one making the demands. I like how he no, interrupts no, the di his dialogue. No, I'm saying you're right. This could make the other drivers. And we gotta work at fixing uh, it. It's pretty interesting. We do. All of us. Yes, mom. The oh real peeps. Because I started to understand something in there. No one else gets this family. Not Dr. Friedlander or my yoga teacher or our tennis coach. Or the juice guy, or the dog walker. Oh, or, hey, hey. Oh. Or Jimmy's third grade teacher. Or the trash guy. Or dad's proctologist. Or the guy that thinks he's Jesus on Vespucci Beach. Or the hippie bum who thinks the world is ending. We're stuck with each other. That's nice. I mean, how do you explain faking our deaths? Alright. Kids, rooms. If you find dead bodies, cheap women, or Trevor Phillips, we're checking into the Rockford Hills Hotel. Roasted. <laughs> Roasted. Oh, jeez. Mission pass, reuniting the family. Mission time, of course. Oh, man. What the fuck is going on? Trevor, what is the meaning of this? Morning after the night before. What the f what's with the what's with the dead bikers? All right, I'll get out to end of here. I'll leave a like if you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoyed the commentary. And I'll see you in the next video. Later.